Right guys, thank you for coming to this video. I just wanted to do a side by side quick comparison between the genuine article and the fake article. I've done some separate videos more about the quality of the of the and close up look. However, I just wanted to do another video to see the comparisons between the two. So, first of all, let's have a look at both boxes. As you can see, they're very similar. Basically, both are saying BG14, except this one looks, feels like a cardboard box. Not much to it. Uh, there is a bit of a, a number on the back to give the impression it's genuine, but it's not. This is just a solid uh, box basically don't feel like a, a, a standard cardboard box it feels like it's been purpose made for Canon products um, a giveaway to see if this is the genuine clearly you can see some barcodes on the back of it on the top you can see there's a barcode on the lid there which you do not get on the fake carbon copy also if you look at the size the Canon box is actually bigger and this was off eBay selling as a genuine product from um, China which is just basically a rip off of this so we've had a look at the box have a look at the instructions the instructions for the fake one well as you can see don't look like much like the proper Canon instructions really poorly made here we have the Canon instructions you can tell they look genuine, you've got your Canon limited warranty there, so that feels like the real deal. You also get a pouch, which you don't get in the fake one. In the AA battery one, uh, sorry, AA tray, basically you can see the contacts there are um, copper. The fake one is nickel. Big difference. And also in the genuine one, it has rubber inserts in there to hold the AA batteries in properly, so they don't slip about. Um, obviously, on the on the side, it feels more solid plastic. It feels very, you know, contoured, um, and it just feels better made. On the fake one, on the side, it just feels like cheapy, crappy plastic, basically. Um, so obviously that's poor, poorer quality and obviously it's less than half the price. Um, having a look at the genuine article, um, you can see it's solid, um, plastics are, are really good, well made. Here's the tray, if you want to have a look at that, just a quick look. Check out the other video if you want to see an in-depth look at it. Uh, obviously on the insides it's metals. On the other one, it isn't, it's all plastics. So, the rubber feels quality. It should match the 70D and 80D cameras uh, really well. And it should feel as if it's part of the camera. Now, the imitation one, the rubber feels horrible. Really horrible to hold. It's, it gives me the feeling, remember those rubbers you used to get at school? For rubbing out your pencils feels like that really really horrible plastics feel cheap as well if we compare that to the genuine one it feels solid again the side plastic part just feels cheap and nasty also obviously that little latch doesn't feel as solid as the Canon one does on the insides, I don't know if you can see in the video, but basically we've got plastics in the top, a bit of metals in the bottom, unlike the genuine one which is all metals. Um, so basically we've got the standard battery tray in both. Let's see how much they weigh. This is probably the best indication. Obviously they don't have any batteries in them, just keep that in mind. But it will give it a bit of an idea of the quality in de determining how they weigh. So let's get that weighing scale on. 
So the genuine article, the Canon one, let's see what we've got a weight of. 353 grams, basically. So obviously that's what that weighs and it does feel quite solid. On the cheaper one, let's see how much that weighs. 248 grams. So, basically there's 100 grams in it. I would say that's quite a significant difference. Another way of telling the fake one between the genuine one. Uh, this is the slot for the, the, the battery opening tray, basically, the, you know, for the camera. It's very glossy, as you can see there. Very glossy indeed. If we look at the genuine article, you can see it's more of a matte finish there. That's another clue to tell you that whether it's the genuine or a fake one, basically. Another telltale sign is on the genuine one. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but there's a serial number there. You can see a serial number there. And it does feel, even the, the plate at the back feels better made. We, we take the fake one, because even the fake one says Canon there. Battery grip, BGE14, Canon Inc, made in Taiwan. Um, but basically, if we look on the back there, there is no serial number. And going back to the box again, because I just wanted to show this in more detail. On the back of both boxes, you can see a big difference. One, obviously you've got the EAN, JAN code and UPC code. And on the fake one, well, basically there's a code on there, but we don't know if that's genuine. And basically the Canon box is more of a glossy look as well. So that's the main comparison. If you're interested in knowing the difference in price, basically you'll be able to pick up the fake one on the right for about £65. But the genuine one on the left will take you back about £160. So you could say it's a pound for every gram in weight in the genuine one that you have to spend more on to actually get a quality product. But to be honest with you, don't skip on battery grips in terms of quality. Um, you know, going for the cheaper ones versus the genuine kind of ones. Because I can tell you something, the Canon one will last you as long as your camera will. I can't say the same of the uh, fake imitation ones or the other branded ones that have weird names such as newer and other names as such. So I just wanted to do a quick video about obviously the fake one versus the genuine one. Hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.